Hello again, you amazing subscribers. Welcome back to HemingwayLand.com, your source for quality, affordable land in the states of New Mexico and Hawaii. This is our preview, our weekly preview of all the properties going live on the website for tomorrow, Friday, October 23rd. 2020. Before we begin, as always, do want to thank all the people who are buying land from us these past seven days. This week, that list includes in Taos County, Justin, Alexander, Michelle, and Deborah, all of whom bought land from us in Trace Piedras. It bears noting, by the way, that Deborah becomes our first customer from Spain. Spain, a country famous for Penelope Cruz, and I'm sure something else. I don't know. Inquisitions. Anyway, so thank you to all of them. Frank, put down a deposit on our Sierra County property, the one that we relisted just last week. Frank scooped it up over the weekend. So thank you to Frank. And out there in Rio Rancho, we sold land to Melody and to returning customer Juan, a.k.a. Benny. Benny bought not one, but two properties from us this past week. So thank you, thank you, thank you. The Rio Ranchos, by the way, flying off the shelf. We can't photograph them fast enough. Anyway, I'm in a mood, guys, probably because my weekend is fast approaching weekend is in quotes, I still work in the business 20 hours a day, but nonetheless, going live this week, guys, we have, ba-boom, down in Otero County, the southern portion of the state, right by the Texas Panhandle, we have OTNM 5314, located out there in Timberon, this is 1.63 acres, priced at $5,750, you will notice in the headline here, guys, the property has a working water meter, a working water meter, and I know that that is only the second most appealing thing about this headline because it includes an abandoned RV. Let's go to the listing and discuss it some more. So I'm going to have a video up here on the listing page. I promised myself some time ago I would never do another one of these Timberon videos because I just always say the exact same thing. And it gets, you know, monotonous for me. But then we bought this property, which is, in fact, pretty idiosyncratic. It's got a lot of features that most of the properties out there that we've bought, listed, sold before did not have. So I made an individual new video up on the listing page tonight. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, this one sits at the entrance to Timberon. It's up here. You just go down by the fire station, bang a sharp left, make a right and a left and a left and a right, and make your way out here to Gray Court. Uh, and right here at the end, it is a cul-de-sac lot. It is actually a combination of three lots that were replatted into two lots, which form this part of the cul-de-sac and then go down here to Byron. So it actually has legal access along both Gray and Byron. Power not at the lot line, but pretty close by, about a tenth of a mile down here at the corner of the imaginatively named Gray Place and Gray Court. And a uh, working water meter on one of the two properties. Working water meter, of course, means that you're going to get water service on the property. It's like having city water lines right there. And as you can see, when we zoom in here on the map, an abandoned RV. And yes, guys, we've got photos of it. For the record, we had one of these properties with an abandoned RV back in Savola County a few months ago. It sold in like an hour. And then for the last few months, every so often, people will write and call asking me if I'm going to have any more properties with abandoned RVs. It's a hard thing to just kind of, you know, stumble upon, guys. But we happen to have it this time. Anyway, power, tenth of a mile, just down the street. Here's the power. There's the street. Property's back there. Anyway, uh, as we go through this, there is this thing, which is some sort of RV hookup, hitch, trailer thing. I don't know. Leave a message in the comments. Tell me what it is because I'm oblivious when it comes to that. But here is the abandoned RV. Mind you guys, we buy these properties as is. We sell them as is. This is the thing I was mentioning. We sell them as is. And uh, what that means is once we sell you the property, if the RV is still sitting there and you want to go rummage around inside of it and you find gold bars, we can't come back at you for it. They're your gold bars to keep. Though maybe you'll just find an ornery raccoon. Who knows, guys? Who knows? It's a crapshoot. But the point is this and that, these two things, this and that. Let's go back to that picture. Hang on. Ba-boom, are on the property. And according to the uh, previous owner who had the property for a not insignificant period of years, he claims that they have been there the entire time that he owned the property, and he did not own those two things. So they've been sitting there for a while. Obviously, they're on Google Satellite View. Uh, yours to keep if you buy the land, which is why it's a price to scooch more, but also because of, hang on, guys, working water meter located on the property. Don't bury the lead. Uh, so yeah, water service here on one of the properties. And by the way, should be noted, this property has kind of a nice slope to it, which you can see if we do one of these. So build up here, you're going to have some nice views over the valley or build down here. And I don't know what, anyway, uh, point being is a pretty good lot with some really nice features aside from that. So watch the video on the listing page tonight and learn some more. 
Also going live this week, guys, we have property down there in Torrance County. It's been a while since we have listened in Torrance County, much less a property this nice. This is uh, TRNM7142, 4.77 acres. Let's round up for conversational purposes and call it five. Price is $5,500 in the Rancho San Cantado subdivision. Uh, that, of course, is a subdivision located just off the 41, just east of the 41. Hello, here's the 41 about five minutes south of I-40. It's about equidistant between Moriarty and McIntosh. And of course, it's about 30 minutes just outside of Albuquerque. So as I make the argument in the video, it's a good property for anybody who's getting priced out of Albuquerque or just feel like it's getting too crowded out there in Albuquerque. You want some more privacy. You want some land that you can own for yourself. Uh, you want a little rural setting, a uh, nice kind of I don't know, country farm town area. This subdivision, which is basically this area on the map right here, it's populated a little bit. As you can see, there's some home sites out here. This property, which sits, it's, I'll get to it in a second, shaped kind of like Utah. It's like this, like a reverse Utah, basically. There you go. Uh, has power at the lot line down here. It has fencing along the southern border. It has fencing along the western border along Juanita Ave, though that fencing is a little bit of disrepair. More to the point, however, it's in an area where there are city water services. Uh, if you actually kind of drive up and down this street or over here on this street, you will see that these properties are serviced. They have water meters on the land. So it's not even a lot where you're necessarily going to have to drill a well. You can get a water meter hooked up out there through Epcor. Ooh, ooh, I know. How about we go to the photos and I show you guys some photos of these things. Uh, yeah, there you go. Southern boundary of the property with the uh, with the fencing there along the land, some barbed wire fencing, some other kind of fencing. That, of course, is the aforementioned power at the lot line. 200 more pictures of the fencing. And uh, then this is the legal access road. It's a little overgrown, but obviously you can drive down it in a any kind of car, um, etc. Nice, flat, buildable piece of land. And, of course, it's out there in a nice little residential area where you are none too far from the I-40 and hence uh, quick, fast commutes into nearby Albuquerque. So if you work in Albuquerque, uh, not too hard to drive back and forth every day. Or if you just go there on the weekends for, um, you know, nightlife, we'll say nightlife. Do people still enjoy nightlife? I don't know, but uh, you can do it pretty easily from this property. I will let you guys explore this one on your own time. Also going live this week, guys, we have the last of the uh, small dollar properties down in Valencia County. Finally got the deed back on this one. So VL&M for 557, 2.5 acres, another one of these 999 properties uh, going live on the website tonight. It's in the exact same location, pretty much the exact same location, same subdivision as the last one, just south of North La Entrada Road, roughly about four miles from power. So as we make a point of saying in these videos, you know, we know that this property is not for everybody, but for those of you who, uh, number one, looking for inexpensive land, this is about as good as it's going to get in the state of New Mexico, or number two, you're just looking for a private place where you can start to build your own sort of encampment, your own, you want to get the hell away from people, this is the place to do it. Uh, it's what we call a solar-friendly property because, again, power is about four miles away, so there's no chance of getting hooked up to the grid. Uh, short of extravagant spending, I guess. But um, yeah, out here. And we also have, by the way, on the listing page. So this is basically the same video I did for the other properties because nothing changed uh, between these. And we also have the uh, driving advice, driving advice, guys, not specific directions, but driving advice to avoid fences out here uh, for this. So again, $9.99. By the way, the last time when we listed whatever it was, five of these in one weekend, I got... Uh, I don't know, seven bajillion calls and emails from people about uh, the property for $9.99. And everybody calls and like, I'm going to go out and look at this property two months from now. Um, I don't think it'll be here two months from now, man. So point being, perhaps act sooner rather than later. Uh, also going live this week, guys, we're rolling out some more of the Rio Ranchos. We've got all of the Unit 7 properties photographed, and we've got half of the Unit 6 properties photographed. So it amounts to nine more listings we've got photographed and will be officially listed this week. Uh, of course, you could click one by one through these things and look at individual uh, property photos, or guys, you just come up here to the main page, scroll down to the spreadsheet, and the spreadsheet, of course, is organized by legal description. Column G, ones, twos, threes, fours. Ah, there's a logic to the order here. If you scroll all the way down to sixes, this is where the new properties are being listed at. So we got... Um, Where's it at? 20 R, S, and T going live this week. Those are 1, 1, and 2 acres. Uh, we don't have X, Y, and Z photographed yet, but then all the Unit 7 properties, B, E, G, H, I, J, and L, uh, or G, and what is it? Yeah, 
I and J. There you go. Those are the Unit 7 properties. All of them in very close proximity to uh, Northern Boulevard and Southern Boulevard, respectively. Uh, all of them in developing areas. Unit 7, for those who don't, I, you know, why don't I bring one of these up on a map? Hang on a second. Let's bring one up on a map. Uh, Unit 7, for those of you who don't know, is in probably the most developed part of... Uh, <laughs> as I bring up a completely empty space of land. Um, <clears throat> Unit 7 is in the most um, developed of the undeveloped regions, if that makes sense. You've got Rio Rancho City proper, and then you've got sort of Rio Rancho uh, undeveloped proper, and it really sort of breaks off at this arroyo right here. But the Unit 7 properties that we're listing are really all around this area throughout here. And Unit 6 gets a little more rural, but the point is that most all of these either have power at the lot line or power pretty close by. Uh, all are in developing regions either off of Southern Boulevard or off of Northern Boulevard, uh, etc. You know, this was terrible, me bringing up this map. You'll get the point, guys. Go through them one by one, you'll see what I'm talking about. But they're all in really nice regions where, you know, property values are sure to increase in the next few years. Uh, particularly, where is it? Here, corner lot with power in the path of development just north of Northern Boulevard. Maybe I should have read the headlines before I clicked on this. Yes, here we go, guys. So this property in particular, here we go. You can see so it's very close to development over here, development over here. There's power at the lot line. This is a corner lot right here. And it sits, uh, of course, just north of Northern Boulevard right here. Uh, Northern, of course, is one of the main arterials throughout the subdivision. Corner of Northern and Rainbow. And then we've got another lot uh, down here somewhere off of Rainbow. So just really right in the path of development. Um, Anyway, excellent investment properties uh, or just excellent properties if you've actually been looking to move out there and didn't want to spend a million dollars trying to get power hooked up to your property. So anyway, blah, blah, blah. Those are the properties going live on the website. I will have you guys know that next week this time we're going to have some new listings in Cibola County that I've been waiting about two months to get photographed. They finally got photographed. Uh, so very excited about those. And we're also going to have some more Timberon properties, though I will caution you. The one that we're listing this week is the best of the bunch because of that whole working water meter and abandoned RV thing. Anyway, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Much appreciated. 12 minutes. I went on way too long this week, but uh, as always, I appreciate your patience. Uh, thanks again, guys. We'll see you in the videos next week.